Howdy, y'all. Good to see you again. Oh, wait. Sorry. That's in my throat. Hold on. Mmm. Uh, ah. Uh, oh. Sorry about that. Had a had a little a little, little hooky in there. Good to see all y'all. I hope you had a happy new year. I was talking with some buddies of mine in college, and we had a couple of buddies from Prescott, and they used to talk about this guy that their parents went to go see called Old Mike. We're like, oh, that's kind of cool. Is he like, is he just like a guy? And he's like, well, it turns out Old Mike was a dead body. He was put on display, and then kind of became a local celebrity that you'd pay a nickel to just go see. And I was like, no. You're f with me. That's not a thing. You don't just pay to go see somebody's remains. Unless you're like in Egypt or England or some sh**. So I did a little bit of research on, on the internet and I was like, Now hold the hell up. This is a real guy. This is an actual cryptid that really existed. Hey, that rhymed it. Now Old Mike's story is a little, uh, it's a little interesting, but it's gonna take a little bit of context. There is a idea that he might have been some guy named like E.M. Esters or Estes or something, but they basically just called him Old Mike. He was a traveling salesman who would go between Hot Springs, Little Rock, Texarkana, Conway, and Prescott. Prescott being like in the southwest corner of the state. And he sold stationery. He would take the train from town to town selling pencils, pans, combs, or whatever it is he could sell out of his bag. He walked around on crutch because he was believed to have had a stroke, which caused him to be partially paralyzed one half of his body, and he would sell what he needed to, just enough to pay for a hotel and a couple of drinks, then he'd get up the next morning and take the train to the next town, and that was basically his life for three years. Until one day in 1911, when they were having a big old, you know, hootenanny, one holler of a hootenanny in downtown Prescott, and he went to join, and he passed out under a tree. God was like, enjoy your nap, because you're not f***ing waking up. <laughs> Anyways, they found the next morning, you know, peacefully at rest under the tree. They believe that he had died of either a stroke or a heart attack. He had no ID on him. The only thing he had on his person was some of the stationery and a wad full of cash and an envelope. He was taking the local mortuary in town and he was super embalmed. The idea that he would be preserved for quite a long time because it'd take, you know, take a while for any family or friends to come claim him. Thing is, though, no family or friends ever did. The thing with Old Mike is he had a little bit of a twinge of an accent. Even though he spoke perfect English, it sounded a lot like he was from Italy. Plus, he had some exquisite dental work, like some gold teeth. Nothing you get around Arkansas, either. The only place you'd probably get teeth like that would be either New York, Boston, or Europe. And they sent his dental records to both of those places and came up empty-handed. So he had to have been in Europe for quite a long time before he ever came around. Fortunately, they couldn't get any other records from Europe, which... Ain't shocking. There were two world wars. It ain't gonna be too easy to get, you know, records of one man who lived in the States for quite a while anyways. They put him on display for people to come and look at him, see if they could find his family. But in the meantime, while he was on display, he became a local celebrity. He'd pay a nickel to go in. They have a little pad room in the back where they put him up on a crutch. He actually had his eyes open at first. As they began to decay faster than the rest of the body, they sealed his eyes and then painted over to make it look like he still had his eyes open. They would even use his body for promotion and for their funeral home, put him next to their new hearse. It became a weird rite of passage for local teenagers in Prescott to actually go and see Old Mike, which in a way turned into this really macabre game because they'd go in and tie ribbons around him. they put things in his mouth and a couple of the really, uh, 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 trifling ones would, would pull his pants down. I guess this dick had been dead a while. <laughs> By the late 70s, the Arkansas Attorney General was basically like, listen, just go ahead and put him in the ground. And the mortuary was like, okay. So they got him a headstone. They had a service with, a, you know, I think about a little over 100 people, maybe a little bit less, with, a, you know, with the preacher and everything. They gave him a good service. They, and they put him in the ground, and the headstone just read Mike 1911, which would actually be replaced a little bit later with a little more of a, an uh, exquisite, refined tombstone. To this day, nobody really knows exactly who he is. There hasn't been any DNA testing on him or nothing. The last time he was ever in the records before he was even dead was the night before he passed away, before he even made it to the town social. He and another gentleman had gotten drunk in Little Rock, but the gentleman was held for bond while he was just let go. There is a display you can see of Old Mike at the Nevada County Museum around Prescott. There is this Madame Tussauds looking, I believe, paper mache statue replica that they did make of him to go see. So you may not be able to see the real thing, but you can at least go see like what it might have looked like. You can also learn a lot about Nevada County if you want to do that for some reason. Go to the show, ain't too much going on on Prescott. Yo, Buck, what you want to do? Um, well, there's the road, there's a Dollar General, and there's Old Mike. 
I guess we'll go spend a nickel, go see old Mike. That's the whole lot of my weekend. Can we drink? Now in our dry county. Damn. This is what happens when you have dry counties. When you are so bored and you can't drink, that the only thing you can really do is just go hang out with the corpse. I mean, I don't blame you. But yeah, a real cryptid, real sad one, to think that you had family over in Italy that never even knew you passed away, never came to pick you up, and really knew nothing of it since then. Bet you old Mike is up in heaven going, boobity bobbity, where's my family? Hey, boop is this pizzeria? And that's the story of old Mike. You go around Prescott Arcs, Ike's Mountain, you might actually get some more information than this old video right here. Y'all take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video.